I'm doing it for Dan. I was gonna say, I was gonna see anybody. He's my boy. I'm so proud of him. Hey everybody, uh, people always joke about how Sean Hennessy is the only Hennessy black people don't like, but that's just silly. None of the races like him. <laughs> Dan is called Connecticut Comedy's Kurt Cobain, but without the talent and the heroin. Right? Let's just hope he gets the suicide right. Oh. Heard it. Uh, Sean is such a small fellow, and people will often wonder why he wasn't raped in prison. Well, he wasn't the smallest person in midget prison. <laughs> I've actually never seen a midget in prison. Uh, Dan, you remind me of a cartoon character that's based on a pedophile. So, uh... Sean Hennessy has a lot of comedy heroes that he looks up to. Pat Oates, Dan Calwhite, anybody over five feet tall. <laughs> Dan has the hair of a hipster, the face of a transvestite, and the personality of someone who's never had a willing sexual partner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, let's hear it for him. Yeah. Hey everybody, uh, so uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Blair is a pretty likable, charismatic guy. Just don't tell him you've never heard of S'mores of the Great Bambino. The Sandlot. Uh, Dan's autism is so bad, the only reason he does comedy is so he can color code coasters and napkins at the bar later. So, uh, Jimmy Blair is a great big bear of a man, but judging by his voice, it's that silly old bear Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty great, I don't know. Uh, Dan looks like a mortician that won't ask questions if you slip him a 20. <laughs> Jimmy once won a beer chugging contest because Pete Angelo got disqualified. And uh, boy, thank God, because it would be so embarrassing to lose a contest about being a gross fat monster. <laughs> I'm so already out there. You. Shut the fuck up, Pete. Uh, I'm so glad I'm roasting Dan because with Dan we finally get the answer to the question: What if the lead singer of a Nickelback cover band had autism? <laughs> Dan Brown looks like somebody put. Hold on. Dan Brown looks like somebody put D. Schneider in the microwave too long. I thought I was going against Jimmy. I fucked up, okay? So, uh, Johnny Benson looks like Walter White from Breaking Bad if instead of making and selling crystal meth, he chased Mel Gibson through the Australian desert. <laughs> 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 
Dan Brown looks like Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High gave up surfing to become a meth dealer. <laughs> Johnny Benson looks like a homeless Leonardo DiCaprio, but he couldn't convincingly yell, I'm king of the world from the bow of the Titanic. He'd have to stand on a park bench and yell, I'm king of the squirrels. <laughs> Dan Cowboy looks like the lead singer of a poison Wait, tribute I'm not, I'm not in it! You won this fucking thing, Dan. <laughs> Which Dan? Keep going! Dan Brown looks like a winner of the... Dan Brown looks like... God damn it, you look like the fucking 80s exploded, okay? I love you, man. You're great. That's for your winner, Dan Brown. <laughs> Johnny Benson talks about how pregnant women like him because he has a station wagon, but that can't be true. He just looks like he'd have good advice for a kid whose dad doesn't want him. Jesus Christ. How much did you pay cattle for that joke? Okay. Uh, let's hear it for him, you guys. Can we make this one one joke? <laughs> you got oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey. I'll defer. Stash is a no Stash is a notorious internet troll. It's unfortunate that he sometimes burns bridges to places people he performs, because he's also an actual troll. <laughs> uh, Dan Brown does stand-up comedy, uh, sit-down folk acoustic music, and animation, and he is mediocre at all three at best. <laughs> I apologize. This is insulting to not write for you, but I really, I really thought Johnny Benson had you. <laughs> Sash Makita is a genetically engineered hybrid between Bluto the Sailor and a really wet, a really well read pile of mashed potatoes. <laughs> pretend you look like Johnny Benson. Uh, Dan Brown looks like a southern frog. And his facial hair looks like he got it from a baby boomer's pubes. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Sash Makita often has a vacant, faraway look in his eyes that makes people think that he's lost in thought about something deep. Like the never-ending possibles at the Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> so that... That one about, I'm proud of you, son. Uh, remember that? But this time for Dan Brown. <laughs>